anyway, this is the reason I wanted to tell you about this. I wanted to give you a chance to kind of perhaps like reevaluate the perspective that you have on your life. Right. I mean, I ain't out here trying to do no self-help. I ain't no Ayana Van Zandt. I ain't trying to fix shit. I'm just trying to give you a, a little bit of a thought process or an idea about what things are kind of like important to people and what's not. So we get to the, the tour starts. This dude comes out. Got a hat covering his dreads all tied up. Right. He got on sunglasses and he tells us. My name is crazy. I do not own a watch, so I do not have any idea what time it is. I could care less what time it is. Like, that's that man's life right there. Right, that man just told you his life story right there. I don't own a watch. I don't care what time it is. And I'm presuming, based on those sunglasses, that he was high as a kite. All right. So we walk around, we do the tour. He does a lot of stopping and he sings different parts of the song and everything else. He gave a little bit of uh, information, some interesting stuff on some different songs. Um, you know, we saw the, you know, we saw the, uh, where they got Bob's tomb and all of that stuff. You know, he did a whole lot of stuff. But like halfway through the tour, I stopped and I realized, man, um, like you got to understand something. I work on a television show, okay? I talk about sports. That's what I do for a living, okay? See that back there? There's like clouds. There's ocean, like right over there, okay? I have a fairly nice automobile. Not great, but fairly nice. And I'm here to tell you right now, that dude at the Bob Marley Resort has the single best job in the world. The single best job in the world. Okay? Think about this for a second, all right? So you two hours up in the hills in Jamaica. I'm imagining that your concept and sensibilities of the world are rather simple. Okay. Really, if your sensibilities ain't that simple, I don't think that's where you want to live. Okay. That's just my guess. So I'm assuming the sensibilities are pretty simple. And I'm also pretty sure they probably ain't paying that man shit. Because I bet there's a long lot of people in the country with unemployment at 45% who taking any job, let alone this job, right? It was abundantly clear. All that dude does is smoke weed and sing Bob Marley songs. That's it. I mean, it ain't like this tour he had us like walking through no winding mountains or nothing like that. Nothing like that. He's just out there smiling, flirting, getting high, and like showing people the Bob Marley little compound they got set up. Like, what you need? What more do you need, right? Like, I was thinking about that, man. Like, you know, anybody, he look like he ain't rocking with no smartphones or nothing like that. I mean, I, it, like, if, you're, if your cell phone breaks up there in the mountains, man, that's a hell of a hike. You got to make try to get that fixed. Like, all of that stuff, right? So all these things that we have come to take as things that are necessary in our lives, I bet you are just simply not necessary in that man's life. Like, it just don't matter. So he's just in the hills, in Jamaica, smoking weed for work, all right? Smoking weed. And talking about Bob Marley. And that's what he does for a living. Like, why would you ever take a day off? Why, why would you ever give that money back? Why, why would you ever take a day off? I don't understand. Why would you? For what? For what? Like, that dude had the greatest life ever. Ever. Tour guide the Bob Marley estate. He won. Now, 